hello, hello, Cookie. Hi, Biscuit. Hey, Biscuit. Why are we called the Petal Cafe? Oh, Cookie. Let me tell you. Uh, because we love to imagine the before times, the pre-calamity times, when we would sit down at a coffee shop with our friends and chat over a hot drink and a pastry. We aim to recreate that feeling while we keep the conversation going. Today, we continue that conversation with our guest, Sammy, or Hi Froggy Chair. What we talk about Pokemon Legends Arceus. And the Nintendo Direct. And the Nintendo Direct. Uh, here at the Pedo Cafe, we believe anyone can be a capital G gamer. We spend our precious downtime adventuring, exploring, building worlds, and appreciating games that give us that cozy vibe. If you know us, you'll know we started as an Animal Crossing podcast. But there's so much out there. Uh, grab a cup of your favorite bevy and settle in while we poke around the wholesome video game worlds and this week's special guest, Hi Froggy Chair. Uh, hi there, so I'm Cookie. I'm a variety streamer focusing on Nintendo and indie gems, mostly of the wholesome kind. I've got two quite vocal cats who you might hear sometimes, and I also do art journaling. Uh, lately I've been streaming on weekends, but with no set schedule, at twitch.tv forward slash cookie underscore tpc. Oh, that's right. We need to change that. I'm right here. We do need to change that. <laughs> That's right. Cookie went, cookie went under a, a branding change. A very slight branding change. Just a little bit. It's cool. Uh, h hello, friends. Hello. I'm Biscuit. Uh, I am a variety streamer. I play uh, Nintendo and PC games. Um, I have a vegan artisan soap shop. Uh, you can find me uh, on Etsy at, as Tareen Suds. Uh I am also a dog mom, which you will uh, find on my stream in the very bottom of our left corner uh, is a little, is, is Petal. Petal is my dog. She is an eight-year-old, ooh, no, correction. She is a nine-year-old chihuahua. Her birthday is coming up ooh. Uh, on the 13th, so in like three days. Presents well, for Petal. Technically, it's her, her, her adoptiversary. Uh, I go by. You can find me uh, and her uh, on twitch.tv forward slash forward slash biscuit underscore TPC. Um, so, Sammy, um, you are also known as High Froggy Chair. Uh, would you like to tell us about yourself? Yeah, I'm Sammy, aka High Froggy Chair, and I play lots of Nintendo and indie games. Uh, I aim to make exclusive... In Oh my god, hello, can I speak? <laughs> inclusive spaces. <laughs> Online, I need more coffee. Excuse me. Exclusive, inclusive spaces. <laughs> all, the, all the spaces, the safe spaces for all the peeps. I don't allow meanies in my spaces, is the long and the short of it. No meanies. Um, like and you can find me all the places under Hi Froggy Chair. Um, fantastic. So, welcome, Sammy. Thank you for being here today. We're very excited. Of course, I love being here. It's so fun. <laughs> uh, Frequent guest, but but hardly even a guest anymore. You're you're the kind of guest that you just come in without knocking and uh, help yourself to the refrigerator at which, this point, yeah. which we exactly. enjoy. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, big news this week. Oh, oh my so gosh. Much news. Uh, so the biggest part would be uh, the Nintendo Direct, um, which happened on the 9th of February. And it blew, like basically it broke the internet again. Mm -hmm. Nintendo broke the internet that. again, um, mm -hmm. which is so exciting because uh, I'm so excited for all the things that are coming uh, to the Switch. Um, many things. Many things. So let's talk about that. Um, yeah, let's start there. We uh, So if you haven't seen the Direct yet, we won't... There are going to be some spoilers as to what's in the Direct, but we won't go too far in um, uh, just to uh, save on time because there's a lot. 
Um, first up, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Now, if you've ever played Fire Emblem, you know how good of a game it is. Uh, very excited for this. Uh, I love a good RPG. I literally just sit there for like a day and just play the entire game. Um, Did you play The Three Houses? I have it. Uh, not yet. <laughs> okay. kind, of, kind of been a little busy, but yes, no, it's on my list. The Three Houses, um, and then now The Three Hopes, which launches in June. Um, um, and they said that it's in the same world. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't hear that, but I did. Oh. I see that I missed things in the draft, too. Well, yeah. I mean, I was working, so I was paying as much attention as I could, but yeah. I'm sure we will all come up with things that, like, just happened. Yes. <laughs> we'll pick up on different things. So there's a lot of games in this in this direct as well. Is like, maybe I'm not, they're not, you know, our forte per se. Our um, cup of tea. Uh, yeah. Uh, but... So then there's uh, a game called Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp coming out uh, beginning of April. I don't know what that's about. The tactical strategy game. Oh. Meh. Yeah. I do like tactical strategy games, but there's a lot of them for some reason this spring. I feel like that happens where like people just jump on a certain bandwagon of type of game and then everybody puts out a game like that. Yeah, did you did you realize that like 2021 was the year of the time loop game? <laughs> like everything had a time loop all of a sudden and nobody planned it. It just happened. That's really funny. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say like 2 years ago it was like a zombie game in every form. Yes. Mhm. Mm yes. Yeah. And then this year or not this year, last year's E3, it was everything was a space game. Yep. Everything was space. So, like, yeah. yeah, just like go through phases. <laughs> it's hundred monkey syndrome. It's gonna happen. It's hundred monkeys. You not know hundred monkey syndrome? <laughs> no. Okay, so hundred monkey syndrome, and don't quote me because I'm not a real scientist. I only play one on TV. <laughs> um, <laughs> basically, it's when, um, when someone, when a whole bunch of people have the same idea at once with no seeming interaction between them mm. for instance um say uh a particular kind of like a crow figures out how to open a particularly new kind of bottle cap or something like that off of a bottle mm -hmm. to get at what's inside mm -hmm. and then a crow across the country figures it out too and all of a sudden all the crows know how to do it that's that's the idea behind hundred monkey syndrome or when um when like 30 people don't show up to a flight and then there's a plane crash or whatever that that's all the same kind of um theory i don't know if it's quantum physics or what the actual science is behind it but that's what it's called it's called 100 monkey syndrome interesting yeah and that's why everybody made a time loop game that came out last year <laughs> <laughs> science brought to you by cookie and it's probably not all made up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks, Cookie. Uh, no. <laughs> the things you learn on this podcast. Um, actually, one game I'm really excited for, uh, speaking of space games, um, No Man's Sky uh, looks like Astroneer, but just like more intense, like add Minecraft, essentially. Like, just like all of the building and the, the fun and the shooting and the enemies and the things and the things and the things this guy yeah, has had I a agree. troubled history so i was a little surprised to see that it's coming to the switch but i guess they must have done something to make it better well yeah because it has to, folks seem to be it has, about it this. has to meet nintendo standards too so yeah, but what are those? Because has anybody seen the way the Kingdom Hearts runs on the Switch? What are what are standards? <laughs> that, that's fair. That is totally fair. True. What is, I mean, what, what is that? True. <laughs> I mean, true. Um, so it had about a thousand updates. It's good now. Okay. Well, I'm excited. Um, it looks fun. Uh. 
then there's well, I never really thought that they could take this further than they did, but they took Mario Strikers and like made it like a battle royale. Um, I think this actually looks really interesting. It I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. Nope. Um I don't. But anyway, it's coming out June tenth. We have feelings, we're just not sure what they are. Yeah, yeah, June tenth. Um but you know, to me it looks interesting, but you need to have enough people to play with. Also true. Uh I had Mario Strikers the first game, my brother and I would just versus each other and like fight all the time. Um but you know, hey. Um so then there's this other game coming out which is very uh kind of battle royale ish um I'm sure no one's heard of it no no um so and it it might be you know um <laughs> it, it, <Sammy's> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it might be actually the same one of sammy's favorite games too um it's splatoon 3 salmon run next wave has a, co- a new co-op mode uh coming out in summer of this year Sammy, what are your thoughts? Oh, I can't wait. I'm foaming at the mouth. <laughs> I don't think that's healthy. I don't care. I'm so excited. Are you sure that the salmon that you ate was good still? I'm vegan. I don't eat the salmon, so I'm fine. <laughs> I like the color of it, I admit. I like the idea that it's like salmon pink and green. Yeah, because I don't like shooty games, so the fact that you just throw paint at each other is much more satisfying. Right? Ugh. Um, okay, then I'm gonna run through a bunch of games that were on the list, but, you know. Oh, you know what? Okay, um, so Front Mission First is a remake, uh, and then Front Mission 2 remake. Um, I don't even know. I didn't really pay attention to this game, because this game was like, okay, uh uh-huh, next, um, for me. Uh, now, Disney's Speedstorm looks interesting, and I feel like it's Disney's take on Mario Kart? Yeah, Disney's take on Mario Kart and or Nickelodeon Kart. Yes, yeah, the, the kart racers win. Yep. Racers. I was like, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> racers. Yeah. Um, um, eh, I feel yeah. like it's been done already. Yeah. And I mean, like, I don't know if you can do better than Mario Kart. Like, I don't know if that's possible. This one, they also said that this one's going to be free to play, and that makes me nervous. Oh, so true. Uh, I think it has potential to be fun because it's free to play. Like, I, it's a kart racing game. So aside from, like, I don't know, what are you going to do? Spend money on skins? Whatever. I don't think that's really going to affect gameplay like a lot of other free to play games. And mm-hmm. I think it opens up a lot of other people being able to play a game if they can't afford that $60 Mario Kart <laughs> cap. True. Um, and it opens yeah. up, like, another game, like, for community nights for, like, streaming and stuff like that because everybody can download it. True. And just play a, play a silly little card game and be Mike Wazowski, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if y'all are going to play it, I will play it with you. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not gonna turn that. Right, I think you know if we all get together and have a silly little time, it, it, it has potential to be fun. I think there has, has to be like a rule of you have to you no one can be from the same franchise as a character. Oh, that would be <laughs> fun. <laughs> uh, so then uh, that's this summer, um, and then there's also the new Star Wars game, The Force Unleashed. Yeah. Um, so my thoughts: another Star Wars game. Is yeah, that so the one that's being remade? Good. Or is that a the new I, one? I don't know. This, I don't know. It's apparently good that game, Wars. but it's 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 you. another Star Wars game. It's like I think it was the one that was initially on the Wii, the remaster yet. That's, probably. That sounds like wrong. something that they would do. I think that's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and then uh, and then and then going. Yeah, um, sorry. That's okay. And then going oh, into you. another yeah. remake uh, is Assassin's Creed, the Enzio collection. Um, yeah, if you liked Assassin's Creed, look, here's another platform to play it on. Yes. Uh, and I think this is all of the Assassin's Creeds. I think that they combined it. Yes, all three of them. All of them into one. Um, it's coming out actually in a couple of days. I think next week or the week after. Um, okay. 
and now on the 17th of February, and then at SD Gundam Battle Alliance. Basically, you're a robot, I guess. Because that's what a I'm Gundam always is. interested in theory when something has Gundam in the title, but again, so many strategy and like shooter games. Uh huh. Eh. Uh huh. Too much thinky. Too much. Thinky. Let's let's move on to what we're really <laughs> interested in here. Uh, okay, so Chrono Cross. Um, if you yeah. played the original mm. Chrono Cross, <laughs> this. <laughs> I think Sammy's a little excited. Can't wait. I, I'm. I am gonna play the heck out of this game. This I've game. I've never played it myself. Uh, I've played Chrono Cross. It was fantastic. I loved Chrono Cross. Um, this is the Radical Dreamers edition that's coming out April seventh. With the remastered soundtrack. Um, and then, uh, oh, sure and then my head already. Right. <laughs> so good. And then the next game. Uh, is kind of a big deal, and this is one Kirby, that Kirby, really... Kirby, 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 Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> I made a whole new emote for it. Yeah, that's a big deal. It kind of broke the internet <laughs> um, to many points. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, the memes! The memes have been priceless. <laughs> the car one is like so good. Um, it's still going. I'm living for it. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, like I on Sammy's channel, if you are um subscribed to her, uh which you uh should definitely at least follow her because she's got some good content. I love uh, I love a good Sammy stream. Uh she has a Kirby pop mouth emote, um, mm-hmm. which is a lot of fun. Um I as soon as they announced this mm-hmm. mouthful mode, don't know if I love the name. It's a little questionable. <laughs> As the internet has quickly pointed out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, but yeah. The concept of it mm-hmm. I, is absolutely delightful to me. This whole swallowing a vending machine and then using yourself as a weapon. I mean, yeah. The car, the the light bulb. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So cute. The light bulb is funny. It's so yeah. funny. Um, the, um, the hovercraft fan. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, when he's when he's uh, shaped like a ring, it's actually a hovercraft fan. So he's like scooting oh, across the water. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, totally yeah. Weird. There was, I, I mean, I really the car was one of the ones I really couldn't just couldn't get over. Um, mm-hmm. It was so funny. Uh, yeah. Just, just eat a car. And be a car. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's launching on <laughs> on the twenty fifth of March. And that is going to break the internet when it launches. Uh, Kirby, 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 Kirby. Yep. And and Cookie and Sammy. It will break Cookie and that's okay. <laughs> Can't wait Cookie will be doing nothing else. <laughs> so expect an episode, um, probably with, with High Froggy Chair, about <laughs> Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. <laughs> and um, maybe Mads would be interested in that one. Oh, I know she's a Kirby fan. Maybe. Uh, so then we're moving on to a baseball game, uh, MLB The Show 22. Uh, yep. I Coming remember, to the Switch, cross-platform ridiculousness. I remember playing, a ba- the only the baseball games I've ever played was like Nintendo, like Nintendo, like the first one. So I don't know about this game. Um, so then we're moving into the Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece for Cloud. So basically they're moving the Kingdom Hearts games to the cloud so you they run better. <laughs> yeah. okay. Sammy, do you want to understand more about how this is supposed to work? Yeah, so like you play the game and you own the game, but you have to have very good internet for it to run properly because it's playing like you're streaming the game while you're playing it so if you don't have that so great internet the game's gonna look like just crud um and i really think that it was highly unnecessary to do all of that for all of the games you could have done it for three i understand three is a very big game it makes my ps4 sound like it's gonna take off like a little rocket ship i can't imagine what it would do to my little switch fan Ooh. But there's no reason one and two couldn't just be <laughs> the way that they are. I I think it was a really silly decision on their part. I I because it's not accessible to everybody. 
And I want more people yeah. to be able to play the game, but you can't play the game unless you have really good internet, and that's another block yeah. that some people just don't have. Hmm. It's an odd choice, yes, I agree. Again, I get it for three, I, but... Th- one and two were released on a PlayStation 2. There's no reason for it. If you can get The Witcher and you can get Skyrim, if you can get City Skylines, if you can get Two Point Hospital to run the way that it does on the Switch, there's right. no excuse for it. <laughs> right. So, okay, question uh, from chat. What is your favorite Kingdom Hearts game? The first one? The first one. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's so infuriating. Mm. Uh, it'll always be my favorite one. Yeah. Uh, it's the one that I spent the most time mm-hmm. playing. It's the one that I grew up playing. It has such a nostalgic piece in my heart, mm-hmm. especially with my two siblings. Uh, they grew up watching me play it, and then they continue to play Kingdom Hearts games. So it's just... It's got just a special little piece in my heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair. My favorite Kingdom Hearts game is the only one I've played, which was the uh, the mobile game before they nerfed it. Oh. Basically, it's Kingdom Hearts 1-ish, except that the Avatar, you're not playing as Sora, you're playing as like a me version of of a Kingdom Hearts character. And I miss that. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It didn't have a very good life, but... It was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted? Aw. Yep. Um, Moving on. So we have got the Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series. Um, eh. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I know a lot of people I don't know anything about it. Yeah, same. I'm happy that other people are happy. I just don't know what's going on. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of that. Um, Okay. (laughs) So... Um, the Portal Companion collection. Com- mm-hmm. Wow, I okay. So I've played Portal and I've played Portal Two. Uh, it is got to be one of the funnest co-op puzzle games. Like the story is fine. Um, it's interesting, but I had way more fun playing co-op with um when I played it than <laughs> playing the actual story because Gladios infuriated me. Um, so many times. Um, mm-hmm. I'm very excited that uh, it is coming to Switch because Portal is normally like, originally just a PC game. Um, so this opens up a lot more multiplayer um, if people are able to get this game. And I'm hoping that the price point, because it is an older game, is a little bit on the lower side. Um, so that it has well, more... Well, we'll see, because if they're, they're releasing them both together... Mm-hmm. Um, presumably that's an excuse to put the price point up. Oh, I'm hoping that it's like on the lower side because like I said, it is a lower it is an older game, but it is a mm-hmm. very good game. Yeah. Uh, okay, so then a game that I saw a lot of people really excited about, but I know nothing about is Live Alive. Well, that's because it was never translated before. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's brand new to us. Yeah. Of native English uh, speakers. That sweet, sweet HD 2D GIF. <laughs> yeah, we like it. All of it. Yeah. All of it. I don't care what it is. Give it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it. Makes my eyeballs so happy. I want it. It was purely the reason I bought Octopath Traveler, and that game is beautiful, fantastic, can't recommend it enough, and I'm so happy there's more games coming out that art style, because I just love it. I have... Uh... <laughs> I have Octopath Traveler. Um, yeah. I have it in my house. I've never played it. I think I have it in my case. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. yeah, it looks really so, good. Yeah. I'll be interested to see more about that uh, closer to when it comes out. Um, so then, like, if you had a Wii, um, the next game is uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. Which is interesting. I didn't have a Wii, so I didn't have Wii Sports. Oh, oh my god. Wii Sports? I, I'm so great. excited to play with you. Wow. I, I can't even... There are no words to express how excited I am to play with you. <laughs> this I, is gonna be I, great. 
I'm like on the fence a little bit because I love the idea of them expanding mm-hmm. some of the games, but I just I don't under mm. volleyball. I don't know badminton. Like that's awesome. Yep, that's pretty great. I I like that they're already anticipating to update with more sports, and I think they're going to continue to do that. Mm-hmm. Um. Like, just keep adding more stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe even we'll get DLC in the future with Ooh, more fun things. That would be fantastic. I think, I think the possibilities are endless. I love that we can play online now. And also, I'm pretty sure that I saw it's only going to be $40 and not $60. Oh, that's oh. actually... Maybe less is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's mm-hmm. that's that's kind of nice. Um, so that launches... Um, chat. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, that launches at the end of April. Um... Chat is not convinced that it's going to ever be as good as Wii Sports Resort was. So I guess we'll have to see if it meets that bar. Okay, so definitely on the list for reviewing. Got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There are Wii Sports Resorts games in the new Switch Sports. Oh. Interesting. So an upside. Interesting. Cool. Uh, so, okay. So this one, this next one is kind of really kind of close to my heart. Um, because, uh, for those of you who don't know, I have actually been to Japan. Um, I've been to Japanese arcades. I have played this game in a Japanese arcade. It is one of the most <laughs> funnest games ever. Um, mm-hmm. it's called Taiko no Tatsujin. It's a, it's, it's a drumming game. Like it's a, t- you're basically playing, you're drumming on a taiko drum and right. it is so much fun. It is such a workout, but it is so much fun and I'm so excited. I, this is like, this is my beat saber, essentially. Um, this is my beat I, saber. I, I played on one of the machines there. It's. It's really exciting, so I think it's also going to be fun for the Switch. Yes. Be a good time. Okay, also, what, what did it say? It comes up the first update comes with like four hundred songs. Yeah, you can buy like the oh, subscription. Wow. It's a subscription. <laughs> when you bought That's when you, the first up the first subscription, it's, it's five hundred songs. <laughs> oh mm-hmm. my goodness! Five hundred songs. I was like, I could not go through all of those songs in a year. But you know, sure. I, I <laughs> oh, I could see my younger <laughs> sibling just yep. All day is jamming. That's the thing. <laughs> Taiko have its own All day. like drum controller thing though. No, you use the Joy Cons. You d- oh so okay. In my my thought was, do y'all remember that Donkey Kong game that came right? out? Right, I think that bongos? must be what I was thinking of. Can we get one of those and just somehow get a Bluetooth receiver connected to it, like oh wire it, and then just get it to work on your Switch? Oh my god, there's gotta be a way. Awesome. <laughs> I can get through the 500 songs. I love that. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, like I, 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 I'm, my brain broke when I saw Tyco, uh, the Tyco game. And I was like, Nintendo needs to take my money now. Um, and then yeah. sign me up for, just sign me up for that, for that subscription. I love Tyco. So um, if you, Cookie, have you ever seen uh, Japanese drummers where they have the big giant drums yeah. and they have the little two little sticks that they drum on? Yeah, that's this game. So okay. you're just you're you're using your Joy Cons and drumming. Just put a pillow in front of you, basically. And you'll be fine. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but like you know, like Beat Saber, right? Where you're using the 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 Joy Con thingies to like swipe and there's lasers coming out of it instead of this is just a drum like a little wooden stick thing okay but it's hmm. so it's very similar to rock band or guitar hero but you're drumming right and the music is way better well i mean rock band had drums but they were actual <laughs> physical drums they were physical drums this is not physical drums this is just using the joy cons okay. um uh, but yeah so um i'm hoping uh to get this because there's no there's no uh, launch date for this one as of yet, um, and I will be like on my feet when I get this game. Oh my god, I'm gonna be on my feet just like drumming it out. I'm gonna be sweating the storm up. It's gonna be one very soggy biscuit, um, but I'm so excited. <laughs> 
Um, so I'm hoping that this game comes up closer to the end of the year, so it's closer to my birthday, so I can have my birthday. Um, uh -huh. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, moving on. Hang on. Hang on. Apparently, there's a Switch Tyco drum controller. There. Oh, it's over. Hi, best game. I'm gonna Google this right now. <laughs> um. Uh huh. This time yeah. next year, you're gonna have like <laughs> arms of steel. I know, right? <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm gonna put this on my throne wish list. Daiko drum controller. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Love that. It's only a hundred and twenty-six dollars. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, Biscuits like and. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> That's exactly what I needed. That's pretty cool, though. Oh god. Okay. Um sticks. Yes, it does. Oh, I want this. Wow, that's <laughs> the <big> Cookie just <laughs> can't join the bandwagon. I love this it. This is so cool. It's oh. a bundle. <laughs> you get the thing in the game? Uh-huh. 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 I'm in. Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome to where I guess it's just it's so good. Um so <laughs> So the next um game is Triangle Strategy. I don't know anything wait, about this. Wait, 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 wait. Is this already out? Uh no, March fourth. Oh wait, you mean the Tyco? Yeah. No, no, no. Tyco the so the Amazon link you provided was um it's actually coming from Japan. So that oh, it's out okay. in Japan, so you can buy this. It comes from Japan. Um, oh, okay. You know, like they ship from Japan to here. The Japanese version. I got gotcha. you. Yes. So it's coming to the. It's coming to North America uh, later this year, uh, but you okay. can buy the drum kit. Um, it's just. It's just. It's literally from Japan. <laughs> um. Okay, well, I'm in. It's, yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We're doing this. We're doing it. Uh, so, triangle strategy. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk about that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the Tyco <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Everything else doesn't matter. I want to hit stuff, and I want to have fun doing it. This is uh -huh. uh, so triangle <laughs> strategy March fourth. Um, again, I don't know much about this game. Didn't really like hit me across the head. Interesting looking game, boring, boring name. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the next game is one that I rage quit every time I try and play it. It's a uh, Cuphead. <laughs> Cuphead. Cuphead is difficult. Uh, okay, the art style is freaking amazing, and the work that went into it is so amazing. But goddamn, that game makes me rage quit like every time I play it. Every time. One of the things that the folks who love it love about it is how hard it is. It's That's how so I know it's not goddamn hard. Um, yeah. It's beautiful, but dog damn hard. Um. <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna go into chat for a second. Uh Johan. Uh we would could make it an actual stream on maybe on one of yeah, biscuit or like mine or cookie streams where like mm -hmm. the two of us are just playing Tyco. That would be awesome. Um <laughs> <laughs> So I and going back to the uh the news um is the next one is Metroid Dread update. That game I love Metroid. I've played every Metroid game, and this game is so damn hard. Um, it's like, yeah. So the it's fact like, that they have like put in a, uh, a sudden death version where yeah. you only get one life even oh, harder. Boy. So this game is Didn't hard. They also added easy mode. Uh, no. Yeah, I think, I, I think there already yeah. is an easy oh. mode in the game. No, 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 no. They added like an easier. Okay. Mode, along with the sudden death mode, they added Did two they? modes: either very, very oh. hard, or you want to actually be able to you finish know, the game. Easy street, <laughs> exactly. Because uh, there's a tweet that I saw. I was like, "Oh, look! They added an option into a game to make a game either easier or harder, and it didn't affect or hurt anybody." Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, well 
it's coming out. Okay. So they, they give you both sides of the coin. Oh, good. Uh, so it's either available now and or in April. Um, yeah, it was available right after the direct. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So <clears throat> also available right after the direct was um, Earthbound. Mm-hmm. Which I so exciting. It's okay. So Earthbound is I have played this game so many times when I had my Super Nintendo. Um I'm so excited to dive into it. It is one of my most favorite games ever. And that and, says and a you're lot. Not alone in that. It has a huge cult following. It does have a huge cult following. So if you have the Nintendo online uh nintendo switch online you can play it on the super nintendo application on your switch uh as of like yeah to the the day the direct came out on the ninth which is just freaking awesome and everyone should at least try it because it's an awesome awesome game yeah uh um let's breeze through the next few yep uh zombie army 4 dead war (laughs) <laughs> another zombie game another zombie game uh, Getsu Fumaden Undying Moon I don't know anything about it uh, Demon Slayer Himetsu no Yaiba The Hinokami Chronicles in June Lego Brawls, I completely missed this one what is Lego Brawls? I'm guessing that you're Lego characters and you're fighting okay I didn't, I didn't even see any of it about Lego Brawls this yeah, the Lego thing I'm pretty sure was a part of that like brief little thing where they flash a bunch of games at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. So a lot of these at the end I don't think we saw a lot of other yeah. than like here it is really fast. <laughs> so then there's uh the next one is kind of is your is 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 going to excite both of you. Yeah, Two Point Campus, which we we briefly touched <laughs> on um in a previous episode, but yeah, it comes out mid-May. I am totally on board with that one. And then I'm really interested to, interested to see how they handle um, the change of atmosphere because it, if if people are taking classes, that takes a whole lot more time than people just visiting the doctor. So I'm curious how it's going to play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway. same. I'm excited though. So then um, everybody was speculating on getting a Mario Kart 10. Um, Nine. No, no, no. Apparently 9 is the mobile game that got nixed. Um, At least that's what I was told. Uh, But Nintendo just kind of didn't even do that. Um, They decided to keep with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and give us a DLC uh, booster course pack. And this is only wave 1, so there's going to be waves of boot, like like waves of new (laughs) six waves. Six of them, yeah. Uh, new courses, yeah. which is super exciting. Um, 48 in total. That's amazing. Because, uh, yeah. like, I still play Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. We play it. It's a lot of fun. I hate Baby Park. Um, I'm putting that we right out there. We hate Baby Park. I'm putting that right out there. Hate Baby Park. Yep. Yep, thank you. Uh, but I'm really interested in this like whole new life they're giving this game because yeah. it's a good game. Yeah, and I mean, giving it... It's a DLC, right? So I wonder if it's going to be charged or if it's going to be... Hey, you know, you spent a lot of money on this game and you're still playing this game. Maybe, you right. know... So the answer to that is uh, similar to Happy Home Designer. It's included in Nintendo Switch Online Plus. Uh, but otherwise, you can also purchase it separately. Ah, thank you for that cookie. So, as someone who has the Nintendo Switch Online Plus subscription family pass thing going mm. on, mm. Uh, because Happy Home Designer <laughs> and Super Nintendo games and all sorts of things, I am very pleased to be getting further value from that decision. Yeah. Uh, and, and the decision to buy Mario Kart 8. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, and the last, right, and last <laughs> but not least, Xenoblade Chronicles Three. <gasps> yeah, exciting. I have to figure out when I'm going to have time to play Xenoblade Chronicles One and Two because I haven't yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're good. Mm-hmm. 
and then uh, I know, and I'd like to play them uh, sometime. <laughs> there was uh there was there was a cameo in uh, in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> uh in uh in our friend Amy's raid video. Mm. She mentions pants coming out of the sky. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's what that's from. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. It's a whole um, it's a whole outfit. There's a whole like crossover with that. Anyway, um the combat in those games is strange. It's fine. It's weird, and I love it. Mm-hmm. Ah! Yeah. There were a lot of things to be excited about. There were a few things that I was like, oh, well, I really wish they would give us X, Y, and Z, but this is good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, mm-hmm. And unpacking literally everything would take longer than we have in this podcast. Um so uh, we should definitely get into the uh, game review. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll have an awful lot to say about Pokemon Legends Arceus. Arceus? Arceus? Arceus. I've just decided that we're going to call it Pokemon R Us. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> Pokemon... <laughs> So, Pokemon Legends, Arceus, Arceus, however you say it, I just did the wrong thing. There we go. Um, came out last Friday. Mm. Was it last Friday? Yes, right? Two Fridays? The ago? land before Pokemon time. Yeah. Was it last Friday <laughs> or two Fridays ago, Sammy? It was last Friday. There's no way it's been two weeks. It's last Friday on the no, 4th. Only- okay. Uh, so like it took me like five days to beat it, so there's no way two weeks have yeah. passed already. Um, I just I've lost all track of time because of this game. I know. Two weeks I'm like, there's no way two weeks has passed already. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Please tell me it hasn't been two weeks. So I've lost time. I have lost time. Um, so this game came out oh, just over a week ago. It has taken over everybody's life that I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's best description is definitely, uh, Breath of the Wild Pokemon. Um, Mm -hmm. it is very open world. Uh, the story started a little slower than expected. The tutorial I have qualms with. You have qualms with the tutorial? I have qualms. It was was very painful. Uh, Uh, well, let's talk more about that, but continue for now uh but eventually it the story did grab me um and you learn different things and it's actually quite interesting and i ended up like doing a bunch of side quests and side catching of pokemons and 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 all the things uh just to delay finishing the story as long as possible and i may or may not have finished the story last night okay so i'm post story now and I am very excited. Very, very excited. Uh, the puzzles that are in this game are... They're really f- actually quite fun. I'm very glad to see that there are... It's not just um, a grind of leveling um, in this game. It's very interactive and very a lot more fun than I've had in Pokemon games. Yeah. Well, okay. So on the, on the hierarchy of who's done what Sammy finished it first. Yep. Biscuit finished it yesterday. Yep. And I am still in the tutorial. So tell me what you hate about the tutorial because I feel like I need to take some notes. Oh, but you're a new Pokemon player, so I don't think you'll hate the tutorial. It'll make sense for you. But for older Pokemon players, it's like, you're, you're just pulling our teeth. Please just let me get into the meat and potatoes. I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, I, I mean, feel like... Okay, yes, I'm a new Pokemon player to an extent. But I just want to say for the record, I played Pokemon Red when it came out. <laughs> Almost 20 years ago. <laughs> No, I think it's uh, a little bit different. 
it, yeah. it, it's a more in tune with the more modern Pokemon games. So if you've played, especially any of the ones on the Switch, it's yeah. like, mm-hmm. I I got this. <laughs> mm-hmm. I understand how this works. Yeah. Okay. Um, just the brief learning how to catch the Pokemon was fine. But like, I feel almost every Pokemon game going forward, even prior to this, should have a setting of, have you played a Pokemon game before like the last five years? <laughs> like, because gotcha. if so, let me skip a lot of this dialogue. I don't need to just sit here. Yep. Through all painfully. Yep. There is a lot of dialogue. Yep. But I've been playing a lot of games recently that do have a lot of dialogue. So so far it doesn't seem so bad. I I I was like, okay, uh-huh. I kept mashing A when it was trying to t- like tutorial me. I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, I got it. Get ya. Mm-hmm. Let me figure this <laughs> out, please. Yes, I I agree. Agree with chat. It should let you skip the tutorials as an option. Agreed. Yes. Uh, that should be something Nintendo imp- implements, the, the ability to skip the tutorial. Um, right. Except that they make it part of the story. Yes. and they- I still think they could do that properly without it being so painful. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Like, I could go through the little dialogue with the guy, and then the pop-up could be like, uh, do you know how to catch Pokemon? Yes or no? <laughs> yes? Great. Moving on. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so how long to beat.com gives very wildly different yeah. how long hours yeah. on this. So main story, 22 hours. Main plus extras, 34 and a half hours. <laughs> Completionist, 70 and a half hours. That's if you don't um, um, putz around and. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting it's at only an average. I'm sitting at 111 hours. Uh, I've putzed a lot, like a lot. Fair. So, are you going for completionist? Uh, <clears throat> so to get certain things, uh, and I'm going to be as vague as possible. Um, mm-hmm. To get certain things, uh, to allow you to say perhaps find shinies more or you know get the post story you have to be a bit of a completionist um Mm -hmm. right like it's things like wisps and unknowns and all that sort of stuff yes uh wisps and unknowns are they unknowns they are unknowns um okay Because, like, and then figuring out where, where all of the unknowns are, because you have to translate things, mm-hmm. um, takes a little bit, because, especially if you're getting your friends to help, <laughs> it's like, mm-hmm. wait, where is this? What does this say? <laughs> Fair. And then... So- it's, a, it's like its own language, right? It's kind of, yeah. And then... Yeah. The, they're clues. They're don't. They're not specific locations. They're clues, uh, and sometimes you end up running into some of the unknowns, like just kind of in your travels, and you're like, "Excuse me, <laughs> what?" Mm-hmm. It's very okay. funny. Um, it's so you're at 110 hours, um, and you just beat the main story. Mm-hmm. And so- I have. I would say I have. 30, I think I had 35 Pokemon to get to complete my Pokedex. Right. Fair. And that does not include all the unknowns. That's a whole other, that's just the Pokedex itself. Mm Mm-hmm. So. Cool. And then, so where where in this um, spectrum of gameplay would you put yourself, Sammy? So I be the main story about 40 hours in, and then I beat post story and all the side quests, completed my Pokedex, all that, about 60 hours in, and now I'm also about 110, same as Biscuit. I'm oh, just okay. messing around, <laughs> <laughs> having the time of my life. It's it's so much fun. I still have to get all of my, you know, my Pokedex to level 10 and all that, but. Yeah, I did catch them all, which is what is oh, good. R- required of you, as in every Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. So, so okay. there's, extra, extra, there's more you can do once you've caught them all, which is mm-hmm. glorious. Uh, chat wants to know what's our favorite Pokemon. Um, 
I want to I want to expand this question. What's our favorite Pokemon? What was our starter Pokemon in this game? And what is your favorite Pokemon in this game? So favorite overall, starter in this game, favorite in this game. Uh, Go. <laughs> okay, start. Psyduck, Rowlet, Psyduck. <laughs> awesome. Sammy's easy. Uh, okay, so uh, starter was Cyndaquil. Uh, favorite Pokemon. Uh, I would have to say. Out of my, out of my lineup that I use, uh, it's probably. Oh no, I forgot its name. Overquill. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, I actually think it's super cute. Fair. <laughs> it's like a pin cushion. It's awesome. Uh, and then, what's your all-time favorite Pokemon? Oh. All time favorite Pokemon. And why is it Psyduck? No, I mean. <laughs> the best one. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I have it all. I know, with the hard questions. We've got the hard, we're asking the hard questions. Um, I like the little babies. Um, Okay, uh, I guess out of just cu- pure cuteness, um, mm-hmm. would be a Bonsley. Okay, it's it's <laughs> it's a little a teeny little itty bitty tree. Oh, like a bonsai. That is yeah really cute. Yeah, I have yeah. yet to encounter one of those. Um, oh, you you will, uh, maybe. Oh, I, I know I will. You, no, maybe they're they're hard. They're hard. They're hard. one of those, and that's the thing. Like, every every. But his game is so different. Like the shinies you find, um, the uh, was it the outbreaks that you have? Um, you know, like for example, Mads is like barely seen any Bonsleys. Where I've had like two Bonsley outbreaks, and like right, you know, like it's it's so interesting at the differences in everybody's game. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that because I don't, uh, I don't know yet. I'm so fresh into it that I don't know yet what my, uh, what my surprises are going to be. But I like that I'm going to get them. Yeah, and that I haven't just spoiled myself on everything in this game before I got to play it. Yeah, and that's I've thing. <laughs> nothing but Pokemon streams for the last week. But the story is so different. Like the story is the same across the board, but it's how you get there. Right, the Pokemon that you interact with, the Pokemon that you decide to who's going to be on your team, right? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, my team currently is uh, actually I can, I can check. Uh, currently, my team is oops, Cliff Fable, uh, Overquill, Haunchcrow, Galad, Typhlosion, and Dialga. Okay. Those are my my team currently. Uh, Sammy, do you know yours off the top of your head? I do not, but I can tell you that Alpha Snorlax and Alpha Psyduck are always on there. But the other ones switch out depending on what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, that was totally my switch thing. Um, yeah, like I have... And then Alpha is a new, a new addition to this game, right? Um, Big babies. Oh, we haven't seen Alphas before? No. No, the big baby, oh, okay. the big ones are, they're new. Um, okay. And like, being able to have an oversized uh, pseudo wudo, which is basically just a giant tree, um, it just makes me very happy. <laughs> it's like a giant squishmallow. You don't know why you need it. You just do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair. Fair. I know that I will eventually catch or try to catch that Alpha Snorlax. I'm not going to try too early. Uh, yeah, so the <laughs> Alpha... And so, and the thing is, like, they give you... The game, no one... 
no one counts your first shiny as uh, the a shiny because it's it's kind of handed to you. Um, right. It gives you like the first inter- introduction into a shiny. Um, mm-hmm. And so like my first shiny ended up being a drift bloom, um, which it's this it's just it's so cute. <laughs> like it's just and then I ended up stumbling on uh, a shiny Tangela. And those are my two shinies. I don't have any other ones. Um, mm-hmm. But that's okay. So, but okay, remind me. Other th- alphas can be bigger and stronger. Yep. Shinies just look nice. They, they look don't different. Have any special powers. Yeah, right? they just look different. But okay. alphas can also be shiny. Oh. If you run into well, that. My goodness, that's a whole different. That's a whole different thing ball I never game. Considered. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Well, Paint me yellow and call me Psyduck. Um, well, if you're shiny, you're blue. Oh, well, fine. <laughs> <laughs> but then is the shiny gold duck yellow? I don't know. Because gold duck is blue, which is baffling to me. But yeah, I- Sammy, answer these questions. These important questions. These important questions. I think <laughs> he's just like a different shade of blue. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, okay. Game Some of the shinies are like that. Like they're <laughs> just uh, a little bit of a different hue of blue or hue of pink right. or whatever. But some of them are on like the opposite end of right. the color spectrum, which is nice. Yeah, like the shiny Bidoof has a different colored. Um, right, he's just kind of yellow rather yeah. than blue than brown. It's like okay. Whereas, there. like the um, the Ponita is their flames are blue instead of orange. Oh, cool. Hmm. So, um, tutorial. Mm -hmm. Uh, You wish it was shorter. Any other broad complaints or um, accolades about this game so far? Uh, Tip. uh, Check the Check the, um, oh, what is it called? The, um, the, Naturals? thank you. Yes. <laughs> Those. Check your controls for what you can and cannot do. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm yeah, saying this. The game doesn't tell you what they are exactly. No. Nope. Uh, so if you go to your settings, yeah. you can look at what buttons do what, and that tells you more than the game does, which, why am I here for this two hour long tutorial? Fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. No, valid. Um, I did hear a recommendation to turn off auto saving. Oh, yeah. So there's the reason behind that. So, for example, um, if you, uh, go to, uh, it's called shiny hunting. You go to an outbreak, the opportunity of getting a shiny and an outbreak is a certain percentage. If you save before you go into it, you can close your game, load it up again, and you get a different percentage of getting a shiny in that outbreak. That's the okay, reason. if you auto save on, it messes all of this up. Yeah, because it will auto save <laughs> after you catch every Pokemon. Um, and then also if you fail to catch it and you want to go back, mm-hmm. can't. Um, yes, also important for some late it. game Pokemon. If you're about to go into something that feels a little serious, just just save. <laughs> go into it. <laughs> it's a tried Fair. and true Pokemon uh, tip: save and then do it. <laughs> yep. Or, uh, and um, for late game battles, um, max revives are, are going to be your best friend. Okay. Yeah, don't forget to buy recipes. Mm-hmm. Important. For that, there, there's a little man all the way at the very end of the town uh, where you learn how to craft things. He also sells recipes. Buy those. You need them, and the game doesn't tell you they're there yep. for some reason. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, so newbie question: prioritizing 
recipes, um, farming, um, hoarding materials for later, and balancing that with bag space. Go. Bag space you can buy, uh, like Hetsu in Breath of the Wild. You, there's a guy inside of the the headquarters that you can buy bag space from. Uh, it gets more expensive every bag space you want. Uh, I think I'm at eighteen thousand uh, dollars. I know that Sammy was a little lot higher than I was. I'm not sixty thousand. It's fine. Yeah, for um, I believe I heard that it might go up to a million. Yeah, heard. in total, it's one point three four pokey dollars for everything. Like wow. one point three four million pokey dollars. Mm-hmm. Thanks. But I'm at the point now where he goes up at ten k at a time. Mm. Okay. For a while, it's just a thousand at a time, mm-hmm. and now he's charging me ten k. More every upgrade, oh. like all right, Havnuk, cut it out. Yeah, yeah, it's very tough. Nook, but I, I, I make a lot of money because at some point in the game, you don't get them at the very beginning. I think you have to do like the first like big story progression thing, and yeah. you'll know when that happens. Yeah. But after that, there are these things that happen called space time distortions. Yeah. Yes. And there's a bunch of rare Pokemon that pop up in these little space bubbles. Yep. But then there's also different colored shards and star pieces. And like I was saying, the recipe guy, eventually, at some point, he sells you the recipe to make star pieces. And you use those shards to make the star pieces, and then you sell the star pieces back. Mm -hmm. And that's how you make... Lots of bank. Your your sweet, sweet money. Your sweet, sweet money. All right. Well, I'm going to come back to you experienced players when I need advice on how to do that, because I'm not going to retain that right now. That's okay. Because I'm still in the super long tutorial teaching me how to throw a Pokeball. Um, (laughs) (laughs) You'll get And I need to prioritize that knowledge. Yep. (laughs) It's not what you would spend your money on in the beginning other than clothes. So if bag space is something you're really struggling with, I would just buy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's definitely, um, like, find one outfit you like, just wear it for as long as you can, Uh, buy the bag space, prioritize that over, because there'll be so many times where you're like, you can't pick that up because your bags are full, and you're just like, oh, god damn it. But then you need everything inside of your back. To, like, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Chat you can also run know. back to your camp, and there's a, a little box you can dump your extra items into. You it's don't have true. to go back to town. A lot of people yes. miss that little box. Yeah, it's true. There's also a little crafting table beside the tent, and if you do need mm-hmm. to sell things, the guy does buy the, the changes that your Pokemon also buys them. Um, mm. So it's not, you do have that ability. You don't have to go all the way back to Jubilee Village. Um, but if you want to change areas, you need to go to Jubilee Village and then go back out again. Um, mm-hmm. That is a thing that I think a lot of people have complained about. Like, why can't you go to area to area? But like, it makes sense because then you're resetting that that game. Like, you're resetting what where you're at, essentially, right? Yeah, like resets the spawn, it resets the memory. It's similar to Blood mm-hmm. Moons and Breath of the Wild. The reason that those exist is because that map is so vast, and if you load too many things and you do too much, the Switch just can't keep up. So at yeah. some point, it has to refresh the memory of everything. So yeah, that's right. this Pokemon's way of doing it. Yeah. The same thing happened in Sword and Shield. You had to go into the village, and there was like a little loading screen. But yeah. no, it's just how games work. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not hating the loading screen in this game. It's not as long as it is in Animal Crossing, for instance. True. No, it's very short. And I like the little thingy in the corner. Yeah, it's cute. The, the, the yeah, running thing. Yeah, it's really adorable. Um, <laughs> I will say, uh, getting the mounts, uh, once you have them all, uh, the helpful Pokemon people, Pokemon things, it makes the game a lot easier. Because then you're not trying to... Oh, um, trying to get up somewhere where you can't. Also, yeah, the first one, uh, I spent about I tried two, three, four hours trying to get up places, not realizing that that they could jump. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> FYI, it can jump. Okay. <laughs> Sammy's still laughing right. at me for that. Pro tip. 
I loved it. Because it wasn't intuitive. It wasn't like, hey, by the way, this thing can jump. I was trying to get out places and I could have gotten there if I jumped. Okay. I, I, I would not have figured that out on my own, so I appreciate it. <laughs> I think all of the mounts have like two button controls. Yeah. Like they all do yeah. this control yeah. and then this control. Yeah. So all of them have like, you know, an A and a B in a sense. <laughs> well, I remember being uh, in your stream yesterday, Biscuit, where you're like, how do I dive? How do I dive? Oh, it's why. <laughs> why is how I dive? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that's one of the button controls for most of the mounts. Most of the mounts will have um, Y and B as their controls and they do all do very different things. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. For example, why is the jump one for the for the first one? That's counterintuitive. But yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, Who jumps well, with why? Yeah, I no usually jump. I usually y. jump with B, but like that's just B. Me. You always jump with B. Yeah. Do they even Mario? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, this the question. Listen, <laughs> you can run by pressing in on your left joystick. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> that's true. And I don't want to do that. I feel like I'm putting too much pressure on it. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, chat. Um, do not go in the water. You do not yes. go in the water. cannot swim. Can't swim. Nope. <laughs> I learned that the hard way, too. I was Me like, too. I wonder. Nope. <laughs> I was like, I'll just, I'll, it's like, I'll just go across. Um, and then, I will not. no. Yeah. And then, yes, your character goes, wait, I don't know how to swim. Uh, you you actually need uh, a Pokemon to help with that, so don't okay. go in the water. Uh, if there's don't go in the water, if, if there's water that's maybe a little bit light, you know, more shallow, um, but still too tall for you, uh, the first mount can wade can like walk through it. Okay, FYI, but anything mm -hmm. super deep, you need the you need the third one, right. And, and and this game doesn't baby you. It doesn't prevent you from trying. Nope. <laughs> Much to your own dismay. Yep. Oh, did we finish saying what we were saying about the satchels? No, we never even talked about the satchels. Uh, the satchels, okay, we were talking it's, about bag space, but that's it. Okay. Okay, so if you go to your menu where you see all your items, it's I think it's two clicks over. Yeah. You can see, like, your lost and found, your lost satchels, things like that. But below it, there are two settings to go online and then to consistently connect to online. And you should have those on because by default they're off. So if you lose oh. your satchel, other people can find your lost things and return them to you. Like other people in the world that play this game that have their, their online play on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's been multiple times where I have found uh, Amy's satchel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found biscuit satchel. Yeah. <laughs> I found yep. Link's satchel. I found many satchels. Yeah. Very but very handy because if you're not online, then your satchel can't be found. Yeah. And you just lose your things. Yeah. Sad. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. This is all very helpful. Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> how did we know this would secretly be a Teach Cookie How to Pokemon podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it helps others too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Lots of useful info here. Um What uh, where, what else should we be talking about here? Uh I don't think there's anything else that like anything else we would be going into spoilers. Um yeah. which if you have not finished the game, um we don't want to do that. Uh um, Yeah, no, we don't we don't want to be spoilery. Right? Um Oh, I actually, there's one thing one. Mm. Go for that it. didn't occur to me as an old Pokemon player, because I'd be used to my Pokemon leveling up, and then it's like, hey, learn a new move. Do you want to replace it? Do you want to keep your old ones? What do you want to do? Oh, yeah. In this game, it's just like, Psyduck thought of a new move. And I'm like, all right, bud, where is it? <laughs> uh, what, are you, what are you doing? I don't understand. <laughs> so you have to go to your Pokemon, and you have to click on it, and then it goes to change moves. And you can yep. just, like... Swap them around all willy nilly whenever you want. Also, there's a lady in the village who will sell you more moves, which is freaking sweet. So you can do that. I didn't realize till halfway through, and it was painful. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I um I I did hear about that one on uh some of the various know these ten things when you're first starting Arceus uh YouTube helpful 
things with um the game told, tells Blaze you this and switch force and it tells you yeah, to but... be fair unlike a lot of stuff but because i was so irritated at the tutorial i was like <laughs> i don't want to read what you have to say anymore and that was the one thing i probably should have read <laughs> i'm not a strictly a visual learner i need to hear it as well um so having someone tell it to me is really helpful even though theoretically they did tell me in the tutorial it doesn't mean i absorbed that information <laughs> yeah i probably skipped right past it, it was like whatever i just want to play the game and i just mm-hmm. didn't <laughs> think about it again <laughs> yeah no, like, I'm, a, I'm a combination huh. learner so i i if feel like on that thought of a new move why isn't he using it how do i get him uh-huh. to use it oh 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 <laughs> <laughs> fair yeah, I uh, I have decided what what angle I'm going to take with um, how I want to progress. Whether I want to restrict myself to a type, whether I just want to play as intuitively, we'll see. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've played a real quote unquote Pokemon game, so um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, but I'll keep you posted. I'm excited to hear about your adventures. Uh, excited to hear about what like this Pokemon you decide to go with. I mean, there's so... Uh, well, so... I'll tell you that my starter is Rowlet. He's so cute. Um, and the only reason I chose Rowlet over Cyndaquil is that my first Pokemon starter in red was also a plant type. So I was like, I'm going to stick with that. Ah, uh, I just wanted the Fire Hedgehog. That's fair. Totally valid. I couldn't decide, um, and then I was like, but I, I w- what? Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> he is cute. Also, if you've beaten uh, story mode, I will tell you to go talk to the professor in his office. Just just say hello. Yep. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I, I did learn that that is a useful thing to do. You'll be very so happy I, I did. That. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to the professor a lot uh, is something that I did. Uh, and like, as you play the game, you learn about... Um, the ranks and stuff like that that you get um i by the time i was about halfway through the story i think i hit rank eight yeah because i just i went around and i caught a lot of pokemon and i learned about a lot of pokemon and i progressed a lot you know on that end and that's basically what i spent a lot of my 110 hours doing was running yep. around getting satchels, uh, items, and and Pokemons. I, I love it. So now I I'm, love that we make Pokeballs. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, cool. Now I'm, I'm ranked. Hard, we have like different kinds. I'm ranked nine, and uh, oh, yeah. And I've learned that there's a way to catch Pokemon without having to like go super close or battle them or, you cool. know. I don't want to. So nifty neato. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll teach you the, I'll teach you the, uh, I'll teach you the, teach me the ways biscuit and froggy chair. <laughs> <laughs> the sacred ways of the Pokemon, you know, and not like you don't have to battle every Pokemon. Whereas like other mm-hmm. Pokemon games, you had to battle all of them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Where in this one, you could just run past it and go, Nope. See you later. <laughs> like, I just wanted to pick up the satchel. Get away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can no, be a so sneak. Far I'm enjoying it. You can be a sneak. I like being a little sneak. Mm. Booping them in the back of the head, being like, hey, hey you're mine. Yep. The boops. <laughs> a very lot funny. of the boops. They're very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am looking forward to getting off of. Um, this this call and being like I might want to play some Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have other things I need to do tonight, but I haven't played in like three days, and I'm just like, oh my god, okay, okay now, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, like I haven't played since I told you I got the game. Oh, I just haven't had a chance. So I'm sad for you. I know I'm sad for me too. <laughs> But that's all about to change, friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, so good. Um, 
Okay. Uh, so I, I think that's all. I, I just want to yeah. point out for um, any listeners who were here last week that um, I said I wasn't going to get the game. And then I almost immediately turned around and went and got the game. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. You did. <laughs> I just want to own up to that and and um, uh, you know own my true. truth. I'm full of crap. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew that was going to happen because, like, yeah, it's going to be a thing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, we have had an awesome talk about the direct and about uh, Pokemon. Arceus, Arceus, however you want to call it. it, depending on what your domicile is and your accent and your preference. Mm-hmm. So, Pokemon R Us. Um, <laughs> more of that to come in recent and in future episodes. Recent and future streams, episodes, etc. Yeah. Tweets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next week, we uh, Biscuit and I will be bringing you uh, two different games to talk about. Uh, I will be reviewing Aquamarine, and Biscuit will be reviewing Escape Simulator. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, we would like to thank uh, Sammy Hi Froggy Chair for being with us again this week. And where can people find you, Sammy? My main platforms are Twitch and Twitter, but I'm on Throne and Instagram. I have TikTok. I don't use it, but I, it's there. Um, <laughs> if you look for a platform and you look under High Froggy Chair, it's it's me. Mm-hmm. I'm on lots of places. <laughs> awesome. The uh, the Pedal Cafe podcast is recorded live on Twitch and then uploaded as a podcast on YouTube, Spotify, and Anchor.fm, wherever you get your podcasts within a couple of days of the broadcast on Twitch. More like a few days recently, but we do what we can. Yeah. If you like what you're hearing and you want to know when we're recording next, head on over to Twitter and Instagram and or Instagram and turn on your notifications or send us a direct message to get an invitation to our Discord. And if you'd like more of us, check the links in the chat comments or the show notes for all the places you can find Biscuit, Cookie, and our friend, Sammy. Hi, Froggy Chair. Um, for, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to support this podcast and our efforts to bring you wholesome video game news almost every week, we'd love for you to check out our Fan House or Coffee accounts you can check out both at slash the pedal cafe all one word where for the price of a coffee you'll get access to things we are really genuinely working on i'm sure it'll be great um for inquiries you can email us at the pedal cafe at gmail.com episodes of the pedal cafe podcast are a production of pedal cafe media our theme music was written for us and licensed by our friend the talented john stewart campbell special thanks to our moderator uh, Valvin and our friends who came along to hang out with us today. Thank you for hanging out with us and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.